something so extraordinary might happen, so terrible that I wouldn't be able to control myself. I might fall in love. Been through the pages of my old journals With every turn another memory Hello YouTube, I am Leah Liz and I'm popping on here really quickly to say that I am sorry that I haven't put out this vlog series in a while. I've been really busy with work outside work and then also I had I finalized a project or at least one quarter of a project that I've been trying to finish since like 2021 and so that was like a preoccupation so I filmed this on October it looks like October 9th it said that uh, yeah so I filmed that on October 9th um, I think but anyways it's been a while <laughs> so when you see it, um, just so you'll see my hair is different and it's a different time of day and that's why I haven't been around in a while and I'm wearing this delightful sweatshirt. I filmed um, an interview for another series on this channel called Coffee Chat and called the Coffee Chat and Book Review and the person I interviewed worked on Fuller House so I'm wearing this lovely sweatshirt that's full of Fuller House swag. It's very soft and warm. <laughs> it's for Jody. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the episode. All of the links like the to the merch, if you want to go on the bonfire, you can check it out in the down below, as well as the link to our Patreon if you choose to support us. Um, and also for the, the bonfire fundraisers for NAMI and the Trevor Project, I'll have those links below. And if you want to check out the website, go ahead and Check that out, it'll be all below, and hit, hit subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff. Bye. Hello, I am Leah Liz, and this is episode 81 of Journaling Through the Years, and this is a series on this channel wherein I read from the journals I've written in since I was old enough to hold a pen and a pencil. And if you've been watching along, no, I don't batch record and just change clothes. <laughs> change my shirt to look like it's a different day or whatever. No, I don't do that. It's a different day. <laughs> it's the day you're reading. So this is exciting. This is exciting because the bee is in heat. It's another part of that story that we read a couple weeks ago. Um, um, well, let's see what's going to happen. Remember last week we left our hero. What was her name? Hold on. Hold on. I'm looking her looking the name up. Her name was her name was da, 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 da. Okay, here we go. Um <laughs> Michelle. And she was traveling with Jake her ex-boyfriend who had just broken up, he broke up with her to be with another woman and then he had just broken up with his girlfriend and then decided, they decided to go on this adventure and we left them, her sitting on his lap and driving down the road. So June 17th is when I wrote this chapter, this segment. After a while we decided to stop get out of the car and feel the cool night air against our flesh. He lights a cigarette. Smoking is bad. He lights a cigarette and tries to peer through the dark into my eyes. <laughs> to see my deepest secrets. No, he's just trying to look at me. <sighs> he's just trying to look in the dark. And the answer to the deceitful lies I tell. Wow. I don't like myself very much if I'm this woman, deceitful lies. She's saying she she's just she just says a bunch of lies. No wonder he broke up with you the first time. I try to focus on other things because I don't want my gaze to rest too long on him. So I'm like this. So Michelle's like this. Um Something, 
so extraordinary might happen, so terrible that I wouldn't be able to control myself. I might fall in love. So that's where I ended. What do you think happened next? Number one, number two. I think it's interesting that it's going along with that, this story that I'm writing. The bee is in the heat. This is now part five. Um, I'm not sure what else is going to come if we'll ever see more again, but the bee is in heat part five. <laughs> um, if what I find it's, it's continuing that kind of theme where I had gotten my heart broken twice. And this last time it had caused the suicidal break where my, you know, boyfriend, uh, princess bride boyfriend had broken up with me. And then he, me and my, uh, him and my so-called best friend had got together and my other best friend, uh, bad a had run off to Chico. And so I was just kind of shattered. So I was like, screw love. What if I just became a person that just did what she wanted and didn't care who she hurt and so I'm kind of writing with that theme but it's interesting that Michelle is fighting to not fall in love which is a picture of me I was trying to in my depression harden my heart so I wouldn't get depressed I wouldn't get hurt and and not let myself get too close to people so I would get hurt again and my life Many years after that, my life is always about, I would start to get close to people and feel a bond. And if I got too close, whether it was a friend or someone or a romantic partner, an RP, <laughs> um, then I would find a way to sort of sabotage it so that they wouldn't get too close. And then of course I would maybe hurt them so that I would get hurt because they're left and it would just but it would just prove to myself that I wasn't worthy of love or love never stood away around or I couldn't rely on love. I couldn't rely on anyone else because I always get hurt. So it was this self-fulfilling prophecy based on this time, this time in my life when I wasn't receiving the treatment and the care that I needed. Um, and so that's, I guess, the theme of these last couple episodes and this one too has been that, it, that start now if you feel pain. Um, it's never too late to get better and that find the support like NAMI, National Alliance on Mental Illness, um, and your, and healthy friends, whether that's a 12 step group or something like that, find that, find that connection and people that help elevate you and position you and help you focus on getting better and not just taking a pill or not just doing one thing, but it takes a lot of work to get better, to recover, but it's worth it because you matter, your life matters, you are loved and you are worthy of love. And always remember to love your thrive and find your sunshine.